disruptive technologies are essentially game changers. Uh, these are the types of te technologies that are brewing for a long time and they bring about the radical changes in markets. A good example of a disruptive technology is the internet. Uh, you can't imagine living without it. Look at a lot of the companies uh, that were created. Amazon, for example, they have created a whole new set of markets and they've created a whole lot of uh, sellers and buyers and they've made a lot of efficiencies. Disruptive technologies create new possibilities. As it relates specifically to the healthcare market, what we believe to be the next disruptive technology is specifically the mobile smart devices. The data demonstrates that physicians are leading the adoption of smart mobile devices uh, by a higher percentage even when you compare them to the average consumer. From one side, the new generation physicians started adopting these devices because A, found it more convenient to have a small device in their hand as opposed to five different books. And so the market responded to that and started building some of those apps. You have the growth of the internet and wireless uh, uh, networks, the drop in cost in memory and processor speed, new innovation in terms of the way you interact with devices at the same time, total connectivity to the cloud. So you're walking around with a small mobile device in your pocket, but you've got the help of massive computers that are connected to this mobile device through the cloud. Physicians usually are mobile. The whole idea of a physician sitting behind a desktop and punching information, it's, it's almost incompatible to a physician interacting and talking to a patient. Now, in the past they would hold a notepad or they would hold a small recording device. Now comes a desktop, a computer, that has to be plugged into the wall and it's stationary. It's immobile and it requires that you go to that station. It's not part of you. It's quite radically, radically different from a tape recorder or a notepad. The emergence of mobile, intelligent mobile devices that have total connectivity essentially merge uh, the benefits of those old devices and at the same time bring about entirely new capabilities and entirely new possibilities. And actually, if you think about the investment and the, the, the cost that the physicians have incurred collectively in, in investing in these uh, EHR technologies and measure really their impact on productivity of the physicians, comparing those numbers to the adoption and utilization of intelligent mobile devices by physicians, it's quite obvious uh, who the winner is. The new EHRs that are going to have high utilization rate are going to be the ones that are coming in the form of apps. To provide that, you also need the cloud infra infrastructure. So really gone are the days of the old client-server completely. That really puts the death nail on the client-server technology, which unfortunately today, the majority of, of the software that's being sold or marketed to the physicians are based on that old uh, technology. Physicians understand what these devices do and what they're good for, what their capabilities are, and now they're making new demands in terms of how these tools need to be utilized effectively and they need to be new apps that will help them deal with what they do on a day-to-day -day basis which is caring for patients and that's not something that's going to be dictated from top to bottom where engineers or designers or managers are going to decide that these softwares look like this or these devices look like this and this is how they're going to be distributed to the physicians or patients and that's how they're going to use it it's really the other way around so that shift in terms of demand from bottom up as opposed to top to bottom is a significant shift and it's indicative of the theorem that we're putting forth that the mobile devices, intelligent smart mobile devices are going to be uh, a game changer in the healthcare market.